Hi and welcome back. So in the past video we wrote out this example. We, it's an eight measure example, but it's going to have this repeat in the middle. And it's just a repeat bracket. It's a, not a repeat with a, any other text in it. So what is that going to mean if we just have this repeat, if we just have these repeat signs? Well, it's going to mean we only play this through twice. So it doesn't mean we we, uh, we wait for the conductor to tell us to go on, and it doesn't mean we play it through three times or anything like that. If we just see this repeat sign and we don't have any other instruction, either verbal or anything else written down on the page, we just play this through twice and then we move on. So anyway, let me, I'll just erase this down at the bottom. And what this was telling us down at the bottom again was that I could have written these repeat signs without these brackets, I could have written them, you know, like, and actually maybe I will write them like that. Actually, yeah, I'm going to write them a little bit like that because we, we wrote them with the brackets in, uh, in the other video. So now they're yellow, so they're kind of set apart enough and the dots are in the right place. These dots are telling us to go back and these dots are telling us to stop going back, but this is where we repeat from. So anyway, now I'm going to do our, uh, our beat analysis on, uh, on, these, on these notes. So if, uh, you know, uh, we haven't seen this time signature yet. We haven't seen 2-4, but uh, hopefully you're getting a little bit of an intuition now that because we have two quarter notes or we have two beats per measure, each of these measures is only going to have... Uh, two beats in it. So we're only going to number one, two in each of these measures. So I'm just going to kind of go through this maybe a little quick, but here we go. So we've got a half note. We, there we go. Start playing on beat one, hold into beat two. Then on these quarter notes, start playing beat one, and we start playing on beat two. So we just attack on beat one and attack on beat two. Then this half note, attack on beat one, hold into beat two, and beat two is in our no man's land. Then these quarter notes, attack on beat one, and this one, attack on beat two. Then moving down to our second line, we attack each of these, we play beat one, and this one we play on beat two, same thing in this measure. We just play this beat one, this one on beat two, all right? Then we move on to the next measure, and both of these measures are just going to be the same. Attack, beat one, hold into beat two, which is in no man's land. Same thing in this measure. Attack on beat one, hold into beat two, which is again in no man's land. Great. So now, like usual, we're just going to put in our green arrows to show us when we attack and when we hold. So we attack on beat one hold through beat two, and we have two attacks, attack beat one, attack beat two, then in this measure we attack on beat one, hold through beat two, then attack beat one, attack beat two. Now we move down here, and we've got the same thing in all these measures. So attack beat one, attack beat two, same thing here, attack beat one, attack beat two. Now in this measure, attack beat one, hold through beat two, and here we go, attack beat one, hold through beat two. And there we go, that's our analysis. And we've already even got our metronome marking in, so I think it's ready, we're ready to grab our metronome. And one more time, I'll just plug this again. This is www.webmetronome.com. It's, uh, it's one of the hits if you do a Google search for metronome. And uh, it's nice. It gives you this little numeric readout that tells you what, uh, where you are in a bar. So I'll just kind of leave this over here. Actually, if I put that up, that might look even nicer. And we're set to three beats per cycle right now, but we're in 2-4. So we only have two beats in a measure, so I want to change this to be two beats per cycle. And our tempo is quarter note is equal to 70 beats per minute. 
So I'm going to change this over here to 70 beats per minute, like that. And this one even tells us that this is an adagio tempo marking. It's uh, I'll explain what adagio and largo and allegro mean uh, in a future playlist. But those are all kind of the Italian. Uh, uh, a lot of the time, um, particularly in uh, more classical music, uh, tempos are written sort of in these Italian words, and a lot of uh, a lot of the. Uh, um, you know, dynamics and tempo and expressive markings in music, and actually a lot of things in music are all uh, kind of have a bit of an Italian origin, I guess, and, you know, are, uh, you know, have some Italian, uh, Italian language in them. So uh, anyway, that's what adagio means. But I think we're ready to, I'll actually make this window a little bit larger. There we go. Ready to start our metronome. And actually, I'll make it bit larger still so you can see the number of beats in a cycle. Two, one, two, like that. So now remember that in this example we're going to repeat back from this measure to here and we're going to do that once. Now I hope I'm able to keep up with this. This metronome is moving a little quick for my mouse. So anyway, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Ba. Ba 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 Okay? So that was our example. You'll see how we repeated from here back to this bar right here. That's what we did. And we only played this through. We only repeated that once. We, we uh, went through, repeated back from here, back to here, and then we just kept going through the end of the piece. Let me do that one more time. One, two, ready, go. Ba, 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 Ba 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 ba. Okay, so there we go. And now I'm going to do it on our numbers. Here we go. Three, one, two, ready, go. One, one, two, one. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, one. Okay? So hopefully uh, you found that useful and informative. This was kind of a new concept that we haven't seen quite yet, uh, where we have a repeat sort of in the middle of a piece. Um, and uh, so anyway, hopefully that'll help you out a little bit with understanding uh, how repeats work. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll see you in a future video. Thanks for watching.